My name is Walter Whitewater. My clan is Kinshichit in Shlong, Tohan, Bashishin, Katapaha, Dashichit, Tohdichit, Nidashinale. And here is Lois that we're going to be cooking together. Hi, my name is Lois Ellen Frank, and I am a chef at Red Mesa Cuisine in Santa Fe, New Mexico with Walter Whitewater. And today we are going to be doing a recipe from the first lady of the Navajo Nation. And so we're really honored to do this mm -hmm. and you're gonna love this, it's great. We're gonna start with some bread. We're gonna make no fry fry bread today. So Chef Walter is gonna do that. And a uh, very easy dough recipe. We want that dough to rise a little bit just because uh, we it has baking powder in it. Yes. So, Let's go ahead and we have uh, some flour. We have a little baking powder, tiny bit of salt, and we're using warm water. And we're just gonna make that dough and mix it together so that it is uh, ready to go. This recipe has lots of vegetables. Uh, we're using just a, a water-based soup. We're gonna show you all these vegetables. It's so nutritious and so delicious. We think you're gonna love it, right? It's gonna be yeah. great, a big hit on the Navajo Nation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why don't you just tell everybody what you're doing a little bit here? I'm just gonna add some um, warm water to make it softer. And sometimes you have to kind of like add a little bit more water when it gets dry like this. So the more you work with it, you want your dough to turn soft, but mostly it's just by, by feeling. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to show you guys how to grill this. It's going to be really nice. Um, and we just want that dough to, just to rise a little bit while we, we do the soup. And Walter's gotten really good at making dough, haven't you? Yeah. It took me quite a year to, to get there. <laughs> but you're good. I still have a lot of um, competition. And then that's just going to uh, rise a little bit, right? Yeah. And sometimes it gets really um, gummy-like, you know, like... As I'm working with, just, you always add just a, a, a little bit of flour. That's good, that's good. For me, I love to do on the board, and that's what works for me. You go by what works for you. Let it turn softly, and then I put it away. All right, so that's Where's gonna, that gonna go in here. Put that in here and we'll let it rise. Yeah. Great, all right. So the next thing we're gonna do, Chef Walter's gonna show you how to cut an onion. You'll notice we have a, a half an onion here. Take the, the skins off, you know, the, the top part, and then move that to the side. So there's a safety that goes, that goes along with it. So what I do is I have my knuckles out like this and then just kind of do it as I go. And it just depends on how Big of a dice that you want, you you slice it. It can be wider or less than. And then, as Walter cuts the rest of the vegetables, I am going to start to saute. But we don't want to use a lot of oil for this, so we're just gonna gently use a little bit of uh, olive oil spray on the mm -hmm. bottom, and then we're gonna start to saute our vegetables. So the first thing we're gonna saute. Uh, is the onion, and then Chef Walter's gonna show you guys how to cut carrot and celery. Again, very healthy, right? These have lots of vitamins, lots of mineral, lots of fiber, so this is very healthy. So I'll start to saute the onion. So what I need to do is take the, the bottom and the top part out and move it. And so this is gonna be just a, a small dice. It depends on, um, on um, the carrots that you get, sometimes they're like a little wider. So just be careful. Make sure you always have your knuckle out like this. And uh, so that way you don't cut your um, your fingers off. So. And this recipe has uh, pasta. So um, we're using bow ties today. And you're gonna cook your pasta as per the instructions on the bag. Uh, bow tie, you could use what? Elbow, you could use penne. Uh, a lot of minestrone has penne, but we wanna go ahead and we're gonna, uh, we cooked um, the bow tie pasta today. The same thing with the salaries. A lot of people, they, they, they'll make, it depends how you want it, you know? For me, I love to have my- You like size. small? Yes, and small and or you can go do um, a half moon if you want. 
Great. I'm just gonna get a little spoon here so we can stir this. Excellent. And we love to eat our vegetables. So we want to encourage you guys to eat lots of vegetables and plants. Uh, they're very, very healthy. Uh, lots of nutrients, lots of fiber, and inexpensive, right? Mm -hmm. So we've got carrot and celery. That's going to uh, be the next thing. What are you going to cut next? This. Great. Cut it in half. A lot of time, um, for me, I always love to take the, the inside out, but for this um, um, dish, I wanted to leave it on and then just cut it in half and just do a half moon um, cut. The, That'll be nice. Yeah, the zucchini in half. So. Excellent. So we've got our onions going. Look at that, beautiful. And then we're gonna add our carrots and our celery. And look at these beautiful half moons. That's the zucchini for the beautiful soup today. And uh, the reason that we want to saute the vegetables is because uh, it's going to give them flavor, but it's also going to make them uh, soft, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to go ahead and uh, just start to cook those vegetables. Um, and here's some garlic here. What I do is I smash them like this. And then it's it's quicker when you when you work with it. Or sometimes I, I I roast uh, the garlic, you know, just um, to put extra flavor into it. And some when you do it raw, it tastes you taste more um, garlic, it's a little stronger too. So do you want to add all that garlic or just some of that garlic? Um, add... It just depends. When you look at it, okay, yeah, I'm gonna use all of it. Okay, so, great. So. All right. And uh, let's talk about some of the other ingredients we're going to be using today. Uh, we're going to be using pinto beans and kidney beans. And uh, these are canned, but you, you can certainly cook beans uh, from scratch, right, Chef Walter? Yes. And we're using a can of diced tomato. And one of the secret ingredients, uh, frozen spinach. Spinach. So uh, this is going to be really good, and uh, it's going to add flavor, but it also is a, a little bit of a twist, right? Mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. Smell. Yeah. Nice. So you can start to see the vegetables are cooking. And uh, then, uh, Chef Walters, we've got some uh, frozen corn, right? That's yes. going to also add some flavor. And then some herbs. So let's talk about the herbs. And you know, if you can't get fresh herbs, it's perfectly okay, right? Mm -hmm. So let's show, this is oregano. We have a little garden box that we're growing fresh oregano. And the other fresh herb that we're using today is basil. So Chef Walter's gonna show you uh, how to cut that and how to take the leaves uh, off the oregano, right? So what I usually do is um, get the stem and down forward like that. So other than that, it, you know, it tears. Okay. Beautiful. So all these foods add nutrients, fiber, flavor, uh, and we want everyone to be healthy, right? Mm -hmm. And what is a, a, one of the sayings we say in our kitchen? Food is our medicine, right? Yeah. And um, what's fascinating is uh, you said when you were growing up that there were wild versions of this. Will you talk just a little bit about uh, some of the wild um, foods that you used to harvest? Well, um, during like around, oh, around February, we called them, uh, um, the translation would be the, like a wild carrot. So there'd be like more like a white. Anyway, um, so replacing that, we just put yellow um, carrots in. And that's what I, um, that I grew up with. And, um, wild carrots? Yeah. Any wild celery? There is wild celery yeah, that Native people harvest and yeah, uh, wild bush, onions. Yeah. And we grow wild onions uh, and they love to just spread everywhere. They're beautiful and they have lots and lots uh, of flavor, right? Mm -hmm. So you can hear this great sound, all these vegetables just starting to cook nicely. 
Uh, and if you didn't want to do half moons uh, with the zucchini, you could cut smaller. We like some big vegetables in there, right, for yeah. this soup? Yeah. So let's go ahead and add uh, our tomatoes and just any can uh, of diced tomatoes, right? This yes. is just a can of diced tomatoes. So let's go ahead and add that, give that a stir. And um, then the next thing we'll add is the corn, the frozen corn. And frozen corn is easy to get. Uh, you could also use fresh corn if you had it, mm -hmm. right? So uh, we're gonna go ahead and add that next. Give that a stir. Ooh, it's starting to look good, isn't it? Yeah. The color is beautiful, you know? That's it is the, beautiful, huh? You want, make sure you want your colors in there. You know, that's the Look at that. And I always call like, you know, as, as a native, they always say, where's the meat? I always say, right here. Yeah, that's in the vegetable. That's where the meat is in the vegetable. That's your meat. I was like, then I said, oh. So the next thing we'll add is the spinach. We're gonna let this uh, soup cook for about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna add our water. Oh, look at that, the colors, right? Just gorgeous. So the next thing we're gonna do, and we have some dough that we've already uh, let rise this morning, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to take uh, our dough and Chef Walter's gonna roll it out. Oh, look at his rolling pin. That's his favorite thing to do. Uh, I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna bring over the grill. Let's just get this. Perfect. And we're going to grill the breads, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So talk a little bit about what you're doing. So we have a basket here and the basket has some, uh, some bread already cooked in it, right? Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna love this bread. And uh, this bread, uh, it's not fried, right? But mm -hmm. it's the same dough for fry bread. And why would we not want to fry it, Chef Walter? Because we're not using oil. We don't want the lard, right? Uh -huh. We don't want that fat. Uh, we want to be trim and healthy and, right? And have something that uh, is nice and delicious. So there is some of our bread that's done. And usually this is a two person operation, right? Yeah. One person can be cooking and one person can be rolling out the dough. So we'll show you how to roll out uh, some of that dough. Nice. And some people might not even want to use a rolling pin, right? Ooh. Yeah, they want to use your hands. I haven't gotten there yet. So uh, this is the, almost. My, my way is. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, while this one's cooking, uh, Chef Walter's gonna roll out one more. And so you take about a ball, how big is that? Like It just depends on, on your flame, but that uh, kind of made it a little big. Yeah. So I always try to keep, keep it covered, you know? For me, um, it, it dries up. So I always try to keep it, and then put some mm -hmm. more flour down. What I did, you, you seen earlier, um, it was kind of a little like, still a little wet like the, the flour. And that's for me that when I add a little bit more like this, so it's not tough, it's nice and soft that you can work that's with. That's a nice piece. So, so you can do it with your hands too, but rolling pin will help you uh, make it a little larger. Yeah. yeah. And then the bread is just going to puff like it normally would, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're fine. You can actually see, look at those beautiful uh, grill marks on that. And uh, it's just a great... Uh, bread. It puffs up just like the fry bread. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh, you're going to love this bread, especially when it's warm, right? Yeah. It's just really, really uh, nice. Look at that. You can see the bubbles. Yeah. And if you didn't have an open flame like this, what could you could do it in a cast iron pan, mm -hmm. right? right? Let's do one more bread. We'll show you guys. Then we're going to go back to our stew and look at those. See the bubbles starting? Those bubbles uh, are telling you when, when you're gonna flip it over. Look, just like it's frying, mm -hmm. right? Look at the beautiful bubbles. Let's flip this over. Look at that, mm -hmm. nice. So uh, we're definitely gonna have some delicious bread uh, for our, our stew. And uh, next thing we're gonna add is our beans. And we have kidney beans 
and pinto beans, two kinds of beans. And uh, beans are uh, amazing, you guys. So beans are low in fat, right? Mm -hmm. High in protein. They have lots of vitamins, lots of nutrients. And uh, let's add our water. And you can see we're just using water. And so uh, we're gonna bring this to a boil here. Herbs. And uh, let me just finish the bread. Look at that piece of bread. It's gorgeous. All right. So the next thing, yep, we're gonna add, Chef Walter, is our herbs. Here you go. And so what are we adding? Basil, oregano, oh, yeah. and then we're gonna do a little salt and pepper, right? Mm -hmm. mm, look at that. The reason why we, um, we put herbs at the end is like, other than that, if you do it from the beginning, that's all you're gonna taste. You're gonna lose the flavor on the squash, on the beans, and, and, and others, that you, whatever it is that you put in there, and you lose that flavor. Mm -hmm. All you're gonna taste is just the herbs at the end. And then some salt. Yeah. Stir that in, and a little bit of uh, black pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm. <clears throat> And then the only last thing we're gonna do is we're going to add our pasta. We're gonna show everybody uh, how to plate this, right? Mm -hmm. Now we don't like our vegetables overcooked, no. do we? So you just wanna cook those vegetables until they're soft. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna show everybody, we cooked some beautiful bow tie pasta, um, which we cooked in advance. And we don't like to add the pasta to the soup, because what happens? Gets it's overcooked, yeah. right. So what we like to do is just cook the pasta and, and drain it, right? Mm -hmm. Let's stop, cold water so we stop the cooking. And then we can put the pasta in the bowl and pour the soup on top of it. So I love pasta. You don't like pasta as much, right? So you're gonna do a little less. And we cooked a couple of cups, so we want uh, several cups of cooked pasta, all right. And uh, should we spoon a little of this sure. delicious soup on top? And then we have some amazing uh, uh, um, flat leaf parsley from uh, our little window box garden, right? And some boo, look at that, yummy, beautiful. Some of that broth, look at all those vegetables in there. Really, really nice. How's that? Look at that. So this is a complete uh, twist on minestrone soup, right? Mm -hmm. And we've got uh, our vegetables in there and uh, it's beautiful. Do you, I'm going to add a little more broth to that. Mm -hmm. How does that look? So you're just going to do, oh, look at that serving. You guys are going to love this, right? We can put that in. What are we going to do? Let's cut a bread and we can serve some of that great uh, warm bread uh, with this. And um, you're gonna do four pieces. Nice, so that's one piece. There's the no fry fry bread. Yummy. Woohoo! Is. That is a gorgeous plate. Look at that, you guys. We made a really healthy soup uh, based on the First Lady of the Navajo Nation's recipe, which we're so honored that she shared with us. Yes. And uh, we want all of you to, to cook this at home. We want you all to be healthy and well. That's our wish and our goal for all of you. And we just want to thank our sponsors today, uh, the Physicians Committee and Sunlight Financial uh, for helping make this video possible. And it's been so much fun cooking with you, Chef Walter. And uh, we hope that uh, you will all Learn how to cook some great food and stay tuned for any future uh, episodes. And um, you want to say a couple of closing words? I just want to say it's less money. And instead of um, buying meat and all that, it gets ex expensive. This, not only that, this is the, the healthier way that you can afford and to, and to eat and stay healthy. Thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you in the future.